Hello everyone, my name is Raj. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to make a video screen in Zero Density's Reality Editor. And also towards the end of the tutorial, I'm going to share a certain tip regarding how to use two different screens. So please do stick around and do consider subscribing to my channel if you have not. So let's begin. So first I'm going to open up Blender and here I have this video screen 3D model. You can use any 3D program that you like. So here I have my video screen, which is this one. And I also have all these objects that are separate. Okay, if I go to my texture preview mode, there is a texture on the video screen that I have applied. Uh, when you apply a texture on any of your 3D models, make sure that you have the correct UVs. Mm, otherwise, the textures won't appear correctly. So let me give you an example. If I go to my UV editing tab and let me select my screen, which is this one. And let me show you the UVs for this. So here is the UV for my video screen. You see, I have, you can see that I have matched it to my 16 is to nine ratio. If your UVs is not correct, say for example, if your UV is like this or like this, you can see that your video will get stretched. So make sure that your UVs are correct. Also have the UVs of the other objects like the, uh, like the stand or the frame correct as well. Let me just select one of these. Let me select this one. And if I go to my UVs, you can see this is the UV for the frame. So yeah, I have similarly have UVs for all of these. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this by hitting A and I will go up to file, export and export FBX. And I'll just give this a name. It is already screen FBX. So selected objects is correct. Mesh and perm geometry smoothing is face. Okay. And export FBX. Okay. Now I have exported the FBX. Let me go to reality editor. In reality editor, I have my virtual set. Let me make a folder and just import the fbx i will call this screen okay and let me just import the fbx which i just created so i'm going to right click and import to game and from here i'm going to select the screen fbx open say create new materials everything looks fine and import so let me create a blueprint for the screen and what i'm going to do is right click and blueprint class actor i'm going to call this bp underscore led screen maybe led screen okay open this here it is and from the content browser i'm going to select all the static mesh of the screen if i go to filter and i can turn on the filter for st uh, static mesh i'm going to select all of these static mesh and in the blueprint, I'm going to say add components and static mesh multiple assets. Okay, I will click on this. Here is the screen. Okay, now let's take a look at what we can do with this. So if I select my screen, which is this one, you can see that I already have a material here. It's called screen. If I double click and open this, here is the material for the screen. So what I'm going to do here is, okay, let's, let's do one thing. Let's delete this existing material. Okay. So let's create a different material for this from scratch. So it's easier to follow along. What I'm going to do is in the same folder, I'm going to right click and say material. I will call this M underscore LED material. Okay. Double click to open this. If I right click and search for texture, I should have texture sample over here. I will click this texture sample and select the texture sample. And from the details, I can select any texture that I want. It doesn't matter because anyways, we are going to change this with a video from Reality Hub. So for now, just put any texture here. This is anyways going to get changed. And what I'm going to do is I am also going to connect this to emissive color. 
because this is your LED screen and the screen itself will be emitting light. So just connect it to emissive color as well. And now I'm going to select this texture sample and right click convert to parameter. I'm going to give it a name LED texture and apply and save. Now let us take this material that we just created and apply it to our screen. So I'm going to select the material from the content browser, go up here, select the screen itself and from the materials I'm just going to click on this arrow button and here is the new material. Okay, so now our goal is to change this material into any of our video inputs. So this can be your external video inputs or your offline videos that you have rendered. So the next step, what we are going to do is in the add component, we are going to type ZD and look for ZD update material. Okay, I will click on ZD update material here from details in reality. In textures, I'm going to add an array element. So plus, and I will open this up. It is asking me the material parameter name. So what is the material parameter name? We just convert it over here, which is this one. We just convert it to parameter, right? So I'm going to take this name, copy it, and I'm going to paste it here under material parameter name. For texture property name, you can give it whatever name, but I'm going to copy the same name. It doesn't matter. You can give it whatever name, but I'm just going to copy this and just paste it here as well. But make sure the material parameter name is exactly this name. Even if you give some other name to texture property name, your material parameter name has to be same as your material parameter. Next, I will go up to add component and then again type ZD. And this time I'm going to go to ZD property component texture. I will select this texture component and in member name, I'm going to paste the same name. In the, if I go back to the ZD update material, this property name, okay. Right now the name is LED texture. If I give this some other name, video input, I will have to copy this name and in the component texture, I have to give the same name over here. Compile. One more thing that we need to do is add component and ZD actor. If you have followed my tutorials, you know that we need a ZD actor to be able to access this uh, feature from Reality Hub. So I will select the ZD actor and give this actor a name. I will call this LED screen. Okay. Compile and save. Of course, we need to take the blueprint and put it in our scene like this. Here is our screen. And now if I hit play and go to Reality Hub, you can see that I have this node for the LED screen. If you want to know how to set this up, you can check out my tutorial about the basics of Reality Editor and Reality Hub. You can find the link in the top right corner. Okay, so here is the node for your screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a media node and if I just plug this into the video input, you can see it changes immediately. I can plug in any offline videos that I have. Let me see if I have any videos. Yes, I do have videos. If I go to functions and hit play and the video starts playing. You can also use any, if you have your Aja inputs, so you can input your Aja video into the LED screen as well. Of course, I'm working from a personal computer. I don't have an Aja card in it. If you have an external video coming in or your camera feed through your Aja in, you can put that in here as well. And also you can use this to put images on your screen. It doesn't have to be a video always. So if I go up, if I select my media input and from the file path, I can select any other image and it will just be an image for image. I don't have to go up to functions and play. It is only for the videos. Okay. Now let me give you a small tip as promised at the beginning of the video. I'm going to stop this and if I open the LED screen, here it is. Now I have not added any materials to the frame of this uh, screen. So quickly, let me just add a simple material to the frame. And then I will show you how to change the color of the frame. We were changing the texture uh, from Reality Hub. Now I'm going to change the color, not the texture, remember the color. So first let me make a material that I'm going to apply to the frame. 
So right click and new material M underscore frame color. Okay, I will open this and I am going to right click and search for vector three. So constant three vectors. I can double click and I can choose any color of my liking. Let me go with a bluish color. Okay, this is just for example, and I'm going to plug this into the base color. And just like in the previous example, we converted the texture to a parameter. We are going to convert this also to a parameter. So right click and we are going to convert to parameter. And I'm going to give this a name frame color. Of course, you can do other things here like set the roughness, the metallic and all those properties. But I'm not going to do this. I'm just adding a simple basic color for now. So in the blueprint for the screen, let me just quickly add that material, which is okay. I have to apply and save, of course. Now select the material and go to the blueprint. I'm going to apply this to the frame like this, like this, and select the, select the outer frame and add it. And just like how we added a texture component to the screen so that we could change the texture with a video from Reality Hub, we are going to do something similar with the frame. So let's see what we can do. I already have a ZD update material here, right? So I'm going to select the ZD update material. And what I'm going to do this time, instead of textures, I'm going in the colors, I'm going to add an array element. Open this up. Again, it is asking me the material parameter name so what is the parameter name it is frame color i'm going to select and copy the name and in the blueprint i'm going to go up to zd update material and just paste it to the material parameter name of the colors okay there it is and for the color property name i can give it whatever name i want i will call this just color and copy this and now I will go to add component and again search for ZD and this time instead of texture I am going to find ZD property component color and click I'm going to select the component color and in the member name I'm going to paste this one what did I paste I'm going to paste whatever name I have given it in the color property name i can call this color change i'll have to copy this same name go to the component color and in the member name i have to give it the same name color change okay and if i select this and let me give it a default color value for now i'll give it the same almost like the same color as this so it is like a blue did I select it? Yes. Compile, save. And now if I hit play and go to Reality Hub, and if I select my screen node, you can see I have this property over here for change color. And from here, I can change the color of the frame to any color that I want. And of course, for the texture, you already know, you, all you need to do is add a media input to this. And from here, you can select any video that you have. Okay, let me show you one more tip. Let me go to the blueprint. And let's say there is another screen in the same blueprint. So let me duplicate this, move it up like here, this. And let me scale it down a little bit. Okay. Say for example, you have another screen in the same blueprint like this. Right now what will happen is if I go compile, save, and if I hit play, you can see it has two screens. And if I go to reality hub, it has only one video input. If I change the video here by using a media input, it's going to apply the same video to both the screens, right? So what if I want another video on the top screen? How am I going to do that? So let me show that to you. I will stop this, go back to my blueprint. It is very simple. All I have to do is add another 
completely different material to the screen and repeat the process okay so to make things easier what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this material and i'm going to find this in the browser so i will browse for the content browser it's here i'm going to right click and duplicate this i will give this a name m l e d 2 i will open this so just for a visual reference i'm going to select this um, texture and just change it to something else so that it is easier for us to see and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the parameter remember we change this to parameter i'm going to just give it some other name i'm going to select this and say led 2 texture and apply and save and of course what i have to do is i have to apply that material to the top screen and we know it is m underscore led 2 mat yes this one and now the process is same i will go up to my zd update material we already in the textures not the colors in the textures i already have one error element for this screen what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another error element for textures like this and open this up so what is my material parameter name this one led2 underscore texture i'm going to copy it go to my blueprint and in the material parameter name i'm going to paste it for texture property name i'm going to say video2 underscore input i'm going to copy this and i will have to add one more of these texture component okay so add component and search for zd and go all the way to component texture and this one in the member name and paste it to the member name so remember we have two component textures one is the first one that we added which is for this screen and one is this one which is uh, texture underscore uh, texture one which we added for this screen and now if i compile and save and play go to reality hub and now you can see i have two video inputs over here now i can easily add two different media inputs i can duplicate this add this to video and video 2 now i can add different videos to each of them and of course you can take this blueprint and duplicate it like this and now if you hit play you will see two different nodes over here and for each of them you have different inputs so you can add media input or your external video sources so this is it for today's tutorial if you have any questions leave it in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one thank you